guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 10 of Parallel World Pharmacy. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I literally had to hurry up and make this in a file, which I cannot believe I didn't realize that I didn't make this into a file. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. And then I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> I still have to watch this. I'm almost done. All I gotta watch is this, and then you know, you got me until we go to bed, okay? Unless I play so hot, the soul hotters too. <laughs> I guess because something tells me while I'm editing everything, I'm probably gonna play and then eat dinner because probably by the time I finish this, it'll be like nine fifteen. So I'll probably maybe I'll edit this first and then have just this come out and then edit everything else to come out maybe two shows comes out before I wait when I'm asleep the other one comes out at 10 which would be the patreon show and then um everything else comes out what 3 30 Everything's good, no problems, even though we still technically have problems. Mm -hmm. I'm so nervous. We're dealing with the Black Death here. I mean, damn, bruh. I think so. <laughs> Ellen, like, if you don't shut up. <laughs> Hmm. <sighs> 
Yeah. You still have to be cautious no matter what. Oh! And you could have hit one of them with a damn apple. And I thought I was impatient. Like, oh my god. Oh, God. Seriously? Good question. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He really is a saving grace. What's wrong? Not good.
Please be careful, though. Besides, he trusts you with this. And of course, people are fleeing. And the thing is, they might be carrying it as well. And so even if they go to another town, they're bringing it there. Just hear him out. Oh, my God. He's just being protected. That's all. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Hold up. We got mom with the damn rock. Oh my god. Well, y'all can't escape now! You don't need anyone else dying.
the fact that he would also risk taking off his mask and being like, let me say this, like, is highly, like, you know, very cautious because he can also get sick as well. So he's not only sacrificing their lives in a way, he's also endangering his own life by doing this. Anything that he does, he's always endangering his life. He has to, especially with the career that he's chosen. Yes. They'll still be able to go back to their families, but we just need to separate them so that they can feel better and then they can go home. Because mm -hmm. everyone's lives are on the line and we don't want that. That's probably because everybody on that boat is dead. Do you have things to protect yourself from? Uh oh. They're all dead. No, you can't get any closer. That's highly riskful. Exactly. You can't do that. The only other thing that you can do is burn and take the ship down and everyone with it. But the disease can go into the ocean and spread. And at that time, that's the only thing, the most logical thing that they can do. Because what else can you do? Because if that ship docks anywhere, people are going to be curious and they're going to want to go on there. And then it's just going to spread even more. Exactly. And this is why exactly people say you can't screw with things like this. You have to take it seriously. The 
fact that they had to make that decision. I mean, yeah, they had no other choice. It, it was either the people's lives who were already lost or the lives of millions. And that is a really hard decision to make because it, it's about not only sacrifice and survival of the fittest, it's about really just trying to risk so many people from dying from such a bad disease and such. And you never know because even those people who were on that ship, they were guinea pigs. They're so like even with the situation we're in now with like certain diseases and everything, there's always that quote unquote patient zero. Um, which of course was the bad that we saw last week and such, but this was just ooh, nuts. Th this episode went by quick. I, I mean, we only got like what two more minutes left, but to see the uh, the credits roll right now, like, oh my god, that went by fairly quickly but like yeah my heart really mourned for like the fact that you know he had to do that and you have to do what's best when you are a captain of the ship you are a doctor surgeon whatever in a high risk job and dealing with risk like that it is a lot of stress put on you and I cannot imagine being in that situation where you're like what do I do? No, seriously, what do I do? You know, that That's just... Uh, I, I cannot wish that upon anybody. Unless you really, truly know how and what you're doing. Good. But <laughs> mm -mm. he doesn't want the rest of you getting sick or just anywhere near it. He's got to do this on his own. I think we're about to go into patient zero right now. If it's not a patient zero thing next week, it's just going to be multiple people that he has to handle. And of course, I get it because he doesn't want anything else to spread to the other pharmacists who wanted to go with him. But once again, this is something he has to do on his own. He, I, I'm not saying that he doesn't want the help or need the help, but it's just, I think, once again, if we want to go into a pride thing, he it's his you know it's everything to him and sometimes you have to do it by yourself even if you don't want to but I really hope next week we do get a happy ending on this because like oh my god this this uh, this episode was sad so freaking sad but so good at the same time I'm just like oozing and wondering how this is going to end next week because we are very close to the end of this show I'm guessing I think we have only 12 episodes with the show I don't really remember but Oh God, I feel like we're we're going to see that guy again from last week's episode come in from episode nine into episode eleven. And if they have a showdown next week, oh it's gonna be so fucking good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode ten of Parallel World Pharmacy. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Match Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday or Monday for episode eleven. Bye guys. <laughs>